my next guest can be seen every Wednesday night at 8 on the NBC show Ed. Please welcome Leslie Boone. How are you? I'm fantastic, but I just have to say one thing. Did anybody notice that Jared, his his uh, cup of water, yeah. he had the leech inside the cup, yeah. and, and then he took the leech out, gave it to you, and then he drank the water? Did you guys notice that? And I was too busy noticing 50 other things that go wrong during oh, his segments. Oh, it was disgusting. I'm sitting there thinking he's drinking the water with the leech inside of it. I don't know even how a leech qualifies as an animal. When I you hear someone's that. got animals and they bring a leech out, that's just like... It was, that was disgusting. That's up there with, like, diseases, you know? <laughs> An intestinal worm. Yeah, enjoy. It's just I, just, I was amazed that he drank that, but okay. Well, the kid's still backstage recovering. Yes, He'll he be is. fine. Uh, how are you? Everything good? I'm fantastic. Are you I'm enjoying that? Your Ed's doing well? Ed You're enjoying your fame? Ed is doing fantastic. I love the show. I, I work with amazing people. It's like going to camp every day. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. We all get along so well. And I've also read you are a big sports enthusiast, right? I'm You're, a huge sports fan. And, and, and a dream for a lot of sports fans, or some sports fans, would be to get to sing a national anthem. Yes, which like I a, have. And you've done it. Several I've done times. it several times. I've done like the, the Dodgers. I've done uh, the Kings and the Clippers. And that has uh, got to be the most the amazing Wings. experience because you know everybody's there. They're showing the respect, and you're getting that. It kind is of... truly amazing. At Dodger Stadium, you do it in center field, and so you seriously you look up and you see fifty thousand people, but you can't see anybody's face, so you're not so nervous. Um, the problem I did it at Shea Stadium this past year because my best friend plays first base for the Mets, Todd oh, Zeal. Nice. Uh, thank you. Oh, yeah. You deserve so much better than that. That's okay. Um, so <laughs> we'll uh, we'll add more applause in post. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, when you watch it tonight, I'll be like. <laughs> good. Um, so I sang the national anthem there this year, but um, they have you sing right up at uh, like plate. What do you and mean? Are you facing? You're out facing, towards the no, field? No, you're, you're sit standing at home plate facing the, so uh, you're like, the audience. So your face is like in the net, oh, you know, yeah. for the backstop. It's very, well, it's very scary. And they're like, listen, there's a lot of reverb, which I know. They're like, but we don't have any earplugs or anything. Of course, Mark Anthony sang that song. I'm sure he got earplugs, but me, no. Right. So I get up to the microphone, and I'm like, okay, here we go. And I sing, oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? By the time I get to light... All of a sudden, I hear me again going, oh, say, can you see? And then I hear me again going, oh, and then it's like, so it's like round rob. It's like three people singing, row, row, row your boat. And it's also, it's a hard song to do. Yeah. So, so this, you don't need all this. All of a sudden, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to have to plug up my ears because I'm going to get lost. Because right. I, I, three people are singing at the time. At a, at and the it's your time. own voice rattling around in your yeah, head. Yeah, it's horrible. So I plugged my ears. I closed my eyes. I probably looked. Yeah, horrific, people probably but... thought you were like going crazy. <laughs> say, can you see by the, ah. Oh. <laughs> Going mad! I mean, if I was watching at home, I'd think, oh, you know, she's 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 losing. It. I was horrified, and I was so embarrassed. Seriously, I walked after it was all done. You know, they're all applauding, and I walked off and I looked at my publicist and said, "I'm never doing that again, <laughs> never." I'm never singing that damn song again. Horrible. It's a national anthem. It's a great thing I to know, do. But not at Chase Stadium. It's so scary. Well, they'll fix the acoustics. Exactly. I'll talk to them. I have a lot of clout in the Please business. Please do. Um, now. If you're such a fan of, of sports, did you did you play sports? Did you dream about ever you know becoming an no, athlete? I never really. Yeah, I played. Uh, I played like you know little league softball and stuff like that. I wanted to play football, but you know I was a girl, so they wouldn't let me play football. But I, it, my brother played pop Warner football, so I was a cheerleader. Oh, okay. So I loved cheerleading so much that I thought perhaps that was a good career move because I saw the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader movie. Oh, the one that was that? like in the late seventies. Oh yeah, that movie. Love that. That was movie. at the height of. There was a period <laughs> there for about three years where the Dallas Cowboys. With the, they were the biggest oh, they were the things biggest in the world. Things. Oh, I yeah. wanted to be one when I grew up. So we I all had oh, yeah. the feathered back with hair. The and, hair. And I, I think Charlene Tilton even was in the movie or whatever. But I saw the movie and thought, that's what I want to be. I want to be a cheerleader. And then mm -hmm. I started to grow and grow and realized that it was not a good career move for myself. So Now, today, do you like to, do you, you, must, you must watch football, baseball all the time. Watch I mean, guys must, must love you. Yeah, they do. Well, you don't, don't make know. them turn. That kind of sounds egotistical. Yes, men love me. Um, no, I have a boyfriend, and I, yeah, you know what? I I love to cook. I like to clean. Actually, I love to cook and clean. I love to watch football. I love to have sex. I mean, it's like the perfect Sunday. <laughs> now, I thought it said that my father's gonna be watching this. That's horrible. It sounds like the opening of Blind Date. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like having sex. You know. Um, <laughs> you're originally from California. Yep. Valley girl. And you were a valley girl. I'm born in North. I was born in Northridge, which is like epicenter capital of the world. Right. Um, That's where earthquakes are manufactured. Oh yes. There's a factory there. Oh yes, there yeah. is. Yeah, I was a valley girl. I mean, 
one of these days somebody's gonna find my bat mitzvah tape, mm -hmm. and on my bat mitzvah tape, and I'm, I swear I kid you not, it's like moon unit zappa. I'm like looking into the camera going, oh my god, I'm sure who will. And I'm not kidding, there. That is so weird because I, I haven't heard anybody that. do that. I mean, it was huge 15 years ago. Exactly. Five years after the, uh, the cheerleaders, but. I remember that used to be the big thing. Oh yeah, gag me with a spoon was probably the most common phrase. Uh, she had a song, by. Moon Unit Zappa. Oh, she sure did, called Valley Girl, she's a valley girl. Okay, don't girl. do that, it's okay, not gonna... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now I'm gonna be grabbing my head. No! <laughs> Years of my life wasted by that song. I'm, I'm told that you do a trick. That you do a, a trick I for do, us. I do many you tricks, Conan, but yes, I know the one of you speak of. <laughs> what, what is this trick? This trick is... Well, I was just told, I was told to have some cherries out here, okay, and I don't know why. <laughs> and they're all going, what is she going to do? No, it started like, I was at, my girlfriend was running a little Jewish camp, a little Jewish camp, and we were What's there. a Jewish camp? Uh, I don't know, just a bunch of Jews in a room. Yeah. Doing something, yeah. I don't know. Making s'mores. <laughs> no idea. Um, saying prayers, uh, they were, uh... They were all, I don't know, all the kids were in another room, so my girlfriend Diana and I were in, like, the kitchen or something. And there was, like, a bag of M&Ms there, so we just started, like, popping M&Ms into our... I don't even know how we thought... I think somebody else was there who These said, things come from we? boredom and desperation, exactly. these tricks. So I started, like, doing this, and I have perfected it over the years. It started with, like, M&Ms, and I even, like, managed to pop a plum. I caught it right there with my teeth. I'll never be able to do it again, but I did it once. So, but uh, cherries, I'm really good can at. You, can you demonstrate for us? Yes, do you need me I to can. take the stem off the no, cherry or anything? No, well, I know I won't do I can actually tie the stem into a knot. I don't have to, I don't have to right, do that for just, you, but at least I'll try. Maybe later. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, let me do it. Now, okay, listen. hold on, hold on. Do we need a drum roll or never, anything? Oh, God, that'll make me so nervous. Yeah, let's do it then. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, cheese man, if this doesn't... Wait. Okay, right. Let's try it again. Stay calm. Wait, I'll use the same one. Wait, hold on. Don't worry, it's very late at night. No one cares. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God, everyone's gonna be so no, disappointed. No, 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 no one. Trust me. Yeah. Do you have that, Lance? Can we see that again? Did it even work? Yeah. Oh, okay, dude, it went right I'm in. I'm so sorry that it didn't go. You're in the crushing first... my hand. No, oh, it's all right. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry it didn't go in the first time. Do you have that? Oh, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's not bad. That was pretty good. You got the stem coming right out. I got the stem. I still have the stem in my mouth. Um, yeah. Here. Okay. I'll take it out. And... All right. I can also do it with being visually impaired. What do you, do you mean? Do you want me to do it that way? Oh, yeah, that'll work. Know if, this <laughs> if you couldn't do it this way, how's <laughs> now it going to work that way? Other. Okay, this is my gross advice I'll pluck my out. eyes out and then do it. <laughs> my mother taught, now my mother taught me this trick, which What's was that? to flip up my eyes. Ah! Oh, so my, my God! God. No. Oh, my God! No, no, no! No, no, no! no. 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 First Jared Miller with the leeches and then this! <laughs> Leeches grossed me out. I saw blood sucked from that kid's body. Oh, leeches grossed me out, but I seriously, you know what? Kids love when I do this. Oh, come on. God. Does that really gross you Oh, that's going to be on the promo tonight. <laughs> it's going to be like, yeah, we got a great film. And thank you for coming. And then you're going to cut to you. My mother told me how to do that. Oh, let's try. Let's see if you okay. can do it with your okay. eyes impaired. I'm sorry, but I have to see this now. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> well, you've all got to watch Ed. <laughs> I love people like, I've got to see Ed now. We actually have a really good show this Wednesday, to, which would be tomorrow, our Christmas show, which is really adorable. It's so. called the Inside Out Eye episode. Uh, exactly. It airs Wednesday nights at 8 on NBC. Leslie Boone, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Leslie Boone, your good work. We'll be right back with Star Sailor. Stick around. <laughs> Thanks to the technology inside, you can take Guinness Draft outside. Introducing Guinness Draft in a Bottle. If your pencils look like mine did, there's something you can do. Ask your doctor if the Nicotrol inhaler is right for you. Or for more information, call 1-800-INHALER. Call today. We'd like to welcome our new neighbors to game night. Thank you. Why don't you start? Sure. 
stinking liar. Rat. You got it. <laughs> Not outside. Indoors. Oh, good. Introducing electronic catchphrase. Where you get rid of something. The trunk. When you don't want it found. East River? The 10,000 word guessing game. You moved here from... Boise. Staten Island. Think fast. Electronic catchphrase. Doesn't your guy deserve a Norelco razor? This holiday, give him the only electric razor with built-in shaving lotion, the new Norelco Advantage. When someone took hey! his pride, I got beat up in front of my daughter. Joe Sheffer took a stand. He took something of mine, I want it back. Now, his future is taking shape. Couldn't wait for someone to drop that jerk. His legend is taking off. They named a sandwich after me. Oh. And this Sunday, <laughs> at a special matinee sneak preview, the whole family... Oh, 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 oh. What are you, like, 12? ...will discover somebody. Looks like you're hanging with the cool kids now. Tim Allen is yeah. Joe Somebody. Rated PG. Sneak preview Sunday. How far will they go on the next Fear Factor? Fear Factor is back starting in January every Monday at 8, 7 central on NBC. How will you invest in yourself? Throw money in a wishing well for the next two years? Buy lottery tickets for the next two years? Or make an investment that's sure to pay off? Like a two-year program in electronics and computer technology at DeVry. In two years, you'll have the skills, hands-on experience, and credentials to work where the jobs are in your choice of careers in high tech. The next two years could be the best investment you'll ever make. Call 1-800-DEVRAI-11 for a higher degree of success. As a proud sponsor of the 2002 U.S. Olympic team, Chevrolet is there for our Olympic athletes and wants you to be there too. And now you can be there by entering the Chevrolet Will Be There, You'll Be There sweepstakes, where you can win one of five trips to the Salt Lake 2002 Olympic Winter Games, including the closing ceremony. Simply log on to Chevy.com slash Olympics for a chance to win. Chevy, on the road to Salt Lake City, we'll be there. Anytime's a good time for a big idea. Introducing IHOP's latest, skillets. Five delicious skillets filled with big, bold ingredients like hearty red skin potatoes. Topped with favorites like steak, ham, and bacon. A taste so big it's like nothing you've ever had before. So come into IHOP for one of our brand new skillets. They're perfect for breakfast, lunch, dinner, anytime. Anytime's a good time for IHOP. On Friday, hey, one movie will blow your mind. Rolling Stone magazine calls Vanilla Sky a mind-bending erotic thriller. Vanilla Sky, rated R, starts Friday everywhere. It's a front row seat to a Christmas special. Sing along with the Dallas Symphony Orchestra and chorus to all your favorite holiday carols. Live, watch the Dallas Symphony Orchestra 7-Eleven Christmas Celebration. Friday at 8 on NBC5. get paid extra for that. My next guests were recently named Britain's Best New Band by Q Magazine, and their album Love Is Here is going to be released in the U.S. on January 8th. Please welcome Star Sailor. <laughs> Yes, Leslie Boone, thank you for being thank here. Thank you. Don't do that again. <laughs> Our thanks to Jared Miller for stopping by on his way to school and bringing dangerous animals. Big thanks to Star Sailor for performing on the show. Max Wander, the Max Wander, singing that bus in the mall.